back to life with me with Phoebe Somi. I'm so glad to have you. I'm sure to have you. Thank you for clicking that button and I hope this video inspired you. So in this in today's episode of Create Your Best Life, it's a series that I want to do and the purpose of it is I how you can begin to create the life of your dream, how you can start to become your own best person that you are so filled up to start um, engaging the world and making a difference and this video is for you if if you are tired or like you feel like um you just feel like you're not doing well in your life you feel like you are trying and you just is working and you just feel like i'm putting my effort i'm trying to i'm not seeing the result that i want to see and i'm not getting the answer that i want to get so what should i do like if you are the kind of person this video is for you so my own example, I used to be depressed, always sad, always broken, and always saying that I was not sufficient and I was not enough and I didn't have much to offer the negative game. That's the place I was. Until number one, I began to read the word of God, which inspired me, helped me, and God himself started to work on me that I started to develop beyond what I even thought that I could be. So first episode of this video is um, asking a few questions my aim is I just want to help you so you start to live the life that you were called here to live because few questions that I need you to answer because it's really not about what people are saying about you it's not about what someone may think about you but it is about what you are saying about yourself many of the things that we go through many of the better about the way in which we are perceiving things the way in which we think about things and the way we should see them if you are a negative person like if you used to look for a negative person before you are going to be talking about me like but I'm so grateful that I decided to start making a change so the change starts with the very first thing is make up your mind so they want you to do is let them out of the crowd and come back inside of you to so you begin to understand yourself like who am i you first have to understand who you are before you can start to become yourself your true version to start to live the life that you were called here to live because god put us here to make a difference i am i am an answer to your problem you are an answer to my problem we are coexisting but once we we float around and most of the time a lot of people just die going a grave without ever accomplishing our purpose but i believe that in our generation in this generation and the generation to come we are called to now live the purpose which we were made by god to live here so first of all answer the question to yourself like, who am i who are you questions that i answered before and i tell you no lie my life took a new turn my life begins to be so different that i look at myself each day the woman that i'm becoming the lady that i'm becoming is so so once you recognize who you are you are able to forgive yourself of mistakes and, and, and realize in my own journey of becoming more of who I am, I hide my I hide issues in my mind. I have unforgiveness in my spirit inside of me for myself and for some other people. So those things, especially for myself, it helped me back from going because once I made a mistake, once I, once I did not keep my appointment, I felt like I, I should not continue because I'm not deserving of what I want. So if you realize who you are, it's going to help you to ground yourself, to pick out those things, the ones that are right, those emotions, those, those things that are not serving you right. Who am I? Like, who really are you? You are a call, you are called to make a difference. And you are a child of God. You are a happy like have you ever thought about it? Why am I here? Like why why are you here? What difference can you make? This really pings my heart, like no joke about it, especially in Africa. It pings my heart like I see people, people wake up, people just live and they don't have a sense of purpose and there is no sense of urgency within them that make them feel like there's a need for me generation there's a need for me my community 
I, my own person, I don't believe that we need to have everything because I already have now grown up in having all. I started from having nothing. So I don't believe that we need to have all together first before we start to know our value. And all of your values start to come when you know your purpose, know your worth of who you are. Who am I? What am, why am I here? Like, why are you here? What can you do? You honestly are not a random on say maybe you may think like that like every problem that ever happened to you everything that you went through it was there for a reason to teach you a lesson that you learn from it sometimes we are stubborn sometimes we don't we don't pay attention to life situations we don't pay attention to our father god for his guiding his, his grace to carry us we just do things with our shops and sometimes the circumstances the outcome of it is not right it, it, it breaks us but yet it's still those once you allow it to be a lesson for you, you learn from it and you become better. So why are you here? The, don't allow the mistakes that you made, it should not limit you. Like the container which you are born in should not limit your potential. It doesn't matter our skin races, our, our our skin texture, our colors. Don't be limited by your skin color. Don't be limited by what people may say about you. Because honestly, God sees us all at the same level. One thing that I tell myself when he allowed me, once God allowed me and he gave me this thing and he put me in this situation, he allowed me to put me to be in this situation, it means that I have what it takes to make it through this time. I have all it takes. I may be broken, I may be down, I may cry, I may drag my legs, I may be shivering, but I have all it takes. If not, God will never allow me to get in that situation. Like he will because if you don't know if you don't know what you want you will just fall for anything like anything will take away people will just take you for granted you you will know for one thing that i want a big life like i want a big life when i make impact to millions of thousands and billions of people around the world when i touch people's lives and i am an answer in their life that i make a great difference in their life i want that so if you know what you want, once you know now what you really want, you can please go back to watch my other video. I did a video about questions to ask yourself to really know what you want in your life. If that video will help you want the, the decisions that you make, the people that you go around, the things that you do. It will become to have a direction. You will not just be one person that will just be carried away by any way. Whatever way I will go, absolutely not. You, you you need to have a core, a center, where you are grounded, where you are seated. So for me, I will tell you, seated in the presence of the Most High God, where angels are, where kings and queens dwell, where the heavenly council is. That is true, Christ Jesus, accepting him as your Lord and Savior. And I'll give my own personal testimony that before I started to be sure, before I started to see more of who I am, to start reflecting the glory of God, I accepted Christ Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. And that's a wonderful life. Like, that's a wonderful life. I should not just go in that video. I think I need to do another video about my own testimony. But I've been seeing yourself. How you have been feeling yourself? Because you are actually... So this is the first episode of this series I'm going to be doing of how you can create your best life. First of all, answer these questions. Who are you? What do you... Why are you here? What do you want? What kind of life do you want? Because if you don't know the life you want, you will not know how to go about it. That's an example that I gave. I went somewhere and I saw some students. Um, there were a few students after the, the university entrance. They were trying to enroll and some of them did not really want to do the course. But they just, I don't know, for some reason, they just went into the course because their friends were going to do the course and that was like was that did you even give it a thought did you even think about it like why am i doing this course why am i studying this this career why am i carrying on this path because every decision that we make every result is taking you to a destination and after all every destination that you carry every destination you take is taking you to a destiny so what destination are you taking right now 
what are you doing that within the next five years time you are going to be proud that you started that project you started that endeavor you started that so many you started that life in christ you started that prayer what are you doing right now that's going to just evolve you for that future pressing that god wants to breathe because this so just this this is the era this is the time this or this a trumpet that is blowing that you need to get up africa especially i don't know why i keep on saying africa in this video i really did not intend to keep on calling africa i'm from africa and from liberia and it's beautiful yeah you can visit like we sometimes but africans we need to get up to take this thing the destination that you are carrying on today within the next five years and where your life is headed will you love the destination that you are carrying that you are going with within the next 10 years time will you love to see where your life is will you love to see the result that you have if that is not the case I came for you. I came to stir up something inside of you that you become to start getting dirty so we can start creating a life of our dreams. This is the life in me. This is the best life. So this is the first episode of the series and please be sure to look out and watch the second episode. We shall be, I'm not going to tell you, watch it so you know. And the second episode is what next is there. So I, I don't want to end the video now, but I got to end it. I got to end it. It's on my heart that I make a difference, that I help you to become more. I want to give you a testimony about my own self, my own journey, which will be in some time to come. But the place my life was, where God took me from to where I am, these things that I'm telling you, if you honestly do them, they are seriously going to help your life. They are going to help you to start living a life of purpose. So be intentional. Answer these questions and then watch up the next video. See you in the next episode of Create Your Best Life with me. Thank you so much. It was amazing having you here. Thank you so much, Tony. I love you. With the love of God, I'm going to give you a big hug. I'm a sister in Christ and see.